So the words real, the words fake, these are all tossed around so often. But so what's real and what's fake? If you, everybody wants to look a certain way, everybody wants to possess a certain level of success. You don't have to fucking be Bill Gates or Elon Musk level of money. You don't have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. You don't have to be the straight fucking ripped fitness model. You don't have to be the billionaire, but you have to be working towards some level because progression is everything. You, nobody wants to have less money tomorrow. Nobody wants to look worse than they do today. Not one person on this planet. So if you're not working towards these things daily and make a progressive plan that propels you to exactly where you want to go, which is forward, you're fucking fake. So once you truly get to know yourself, you get to know everybody else really well. And the point is, is when you see someone come up who's obviously just trying to acquire and not become, you look right into them and, and you just see weakness. You see their true weakness. Because here's this, this guy at the gym every day who's fat. He comes every day and he's fat. He doesn't want to be fat. So I'm not going to just call him fat. I'm not going to just equate this as him being fat. I'm going to equate it to weakness. A weakness that he doesn't even hold true to himself. What he wants in his heart. So you really think I'm going to call upon this person to uphold his word or anything to me? When he doesn't even uphold what he wants in his heart to his motherfucking self? So the crazy thing is, is people always say we all got choices. And the only choice that's obvious to me is that you have one choice, which is to live in alignment with your greater purpose and fulfill your life's purpose on this planet. Or you can choose not to. The point is, is what causes people not to live in congruence with their conscience? The only thing that causes this is that they don't feel like it. They don't feel like doing it. Think about all the things that your conscience tells you today to do that you just denounce. The universe rewards authenticity. And here you are denouncing this path that you fucking know is going to take you where you want to go. It's always the hardest one. The conscience is always supplying you the hardest vision. Don't eat that. Be nice to that person that you want to be mean to. Oh, it's always the opposite of what you want to do. Don't you see this yet? This is the thing about these states we exist in, like being a fake ass motherfucker. It's not definite. You can be fake this moment and choose not to be the next. I lived in a fake ass manner my whole fucking life. I was living in a way that my habits weren't in line with the future I desired. All the negative desires I had were simply frustrations of the positive desires I really wanted. Quit taking the fake ass route. Get in alignment and win. So think of it as a point system when you're walking in line with your conscience, when you're answering its call, when you're fulfilling this vision being supplied to you. Think of it as a point system. Every time you're being supplied the path and you follow it, you get one more point. What do these points do? These points raise our frequency. They raise our vibration. They raise our energy. And I always ask people, I'm like, so... So, so what is the downside to living in this manner where you just choose to be massively positive and do the right thing all the time? There isn't one. There isn't one. There is no downside. 